हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू सेवन इंजीनियरिंग यूट्यूब चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब और चैनल फॉर डेली सेवन इंजीनियरिंग वीडियो इन टुडे लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू एनालाइज दिस सिंपली सपोर्टेड बीम विद टू पॉइंटेड लोड ऑफ थ्री किलो न्यूटन एंड थ्री किलो न्यूटन एंड वी हैव टू सपोर्ट्स वन इज ए रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय ए इज अ हिंद सपोर्ट एंड वन इज रोल सपोर्ट रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय बी एंड हियर आर द डिफरेंट डायमेंशन ऑफ द बीम इज गिवन टू अस सो वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट द सपोर्ट रिएक्शन एंड देन टू ड्रा द शेयर फोर्स and shear force and the force and then the bending moment diagram for this beam with two pointed load so to start first with the support reactions so to find out the support reactions we have two support reactions r a and r b and first of all we have to find out these two here is r a and this one is r b so how to find out these support reactions so we can take use the equilibrium equations that summation of moment at any point equal to 0 and let's suppose summation of moment at point a equal to 0 around this point we want to uh, consider all the moments so and let's assume that the clockwise moment is taken as positive and the anti clockwise moment is taken as negative these are just our sign assumption here so now we will start from here this load will create some moment this load will also create some moment and also this reaction will create some moment about point a but this load which is reaction r a is going through point a cannot create any moment because we want to find out the moment at point a so for moment arm we for moment we always required force in moment arm moment is equal to the force and moment arm So in this case the moment arm is zero for this load or a support reaction that's why there will be no moment created by this r a so how we will start so let's suppose 3 is the load here multiplying it with the moment arm which is the distance from this load up to a point which is 3 meter you see here this one and it is producing the moment in the clockwise direction about point a that's why it's taken as positive then the second one is this one which will create also moment about point a in the clockwise direction so again positive so plus 3 is the load with the moment arm the moment arm is the distance from this point up to a which is 5 plus 3 it means total is 8 8 meter now the last one is rb it creates also the moment about point a but this one creates a moment in the anti clockwise direction about point a so it will be taken as negative So minus R B is the load multiplying it with the moment arm. The moment arm is the distance from point B up to A, which is three meter plus five meter plus three meter. Total is eleven. Summation of all the moment about point A equal to zero. Now we will shift this value to the right side, so we'll get eleven R B equal to. This will become three three into three nine plus three into eight twenty four. So we will get R B equal to thirty three, and we will divide it by eleven. So we got. So we got R B equal to. If we divide this, so we got here three kilonewton. So R B is three kilonewton here. Now what is R A? So we can simply find out R A by again equilibrium equation summation of vertical force is equal to zero. And let's suppose upward forces are taken as positive and downward forces are taken as negative. So upward forces are R A and R B. So these are taken as positive. And downward forces is three kilonewton and three kilonewton. So they are taken as negative. Summation of all the vertical forces equal to zero. Now R B will comes out to be. If we shift this volume to the right side, so it, we will get here six minus R A. And R A is given is known to us, which is three six minus three R B comes out to be three kilonewton. So here R B is equal to three kilonewton. So we find out the two support reaction for this a beam. So now we will draw the shear force and bending moment diagram very easily. So this one is three kilonewton. This one is also three kilonewton. So we will draw the reference line first. So these are the reference line for the shear force and bending moment. So if I draw it with a different color, 
So let's suppose this is for the shear force, this is for the bending moment. Shear force in kilonewton and bending moment in the unit of kilonewton meter. So now we will start from this end point A. So it is 3 kilonewton acting in the upper direction. So this is 0, 0 reference line. So it will start from 0 to 3 kilonewton in the upper direction. And then there is no load on the beam up to 3 meter. So up to 3 meter there will be no load. So just like this and then 3 kilonewton is acting downward. So 3, this is plus 3 and this was acting in downward direction. So minus 6, so it will again bring it to the 0. So we got here a shear force of this value. Now on the beam again here there is no load acting on the beam of length of 5 meter. So here there is no load so shear force will be equal to 0 here. And again here the shear force is acting in the downward direction which is 3. So we will bring this value from here to here to 3 so minus 3. So we will get here something like this. Then there is no load again then straight line and then there is a load of 3 kN acting upward. So minus 3 and this is plus 3 because acting in upward direction so it will become 0 again. So this is negative shear force, this is positive shear force. So with the help of this shear force diagram we will try to find out our bending moment diagram. So how? So now these are the rectangles. So the bending moment can be drawn from the shear force by taking the area of the shear force. So this is 0, 0 reference line for the bending moment diagram. So here if we find out the area of this shear box, so it is 3 is the height and the width is at uh, the length is 3 meter. So the area of the one box is equal to rectangle B into H. So B is 3 meter, height is also 3 kilonewton. So we get 9 kilonewton meter is the area of this. So it means plus, so it will be positive 9 kilonewton meter value here at this point. This is the bending moment value for the beam at this point. So now there is no shear force here. We can see the shear force line is straight is zero. So the bending moment diagram will also go in a straight way like this. Straight way. And then we will find the shear force area here A2. This is A2 now. So the area is rectangle. It's a rectangle shear force. So again B into H. So B is again 3 meter and height is minus 3 so we will get minus 9 kilonewton so minus 9 kilonewton meter is the moment of or the area of the second second shear box so it is minus kilonewton and here we have plus 9 kilonewton meter coming from this moment here at this point this is plus 9 and here it is minus 9 so when plus 9 and minus 9 are added we will get 0 kilonewton meter here at this point so this is the bending moment diagram for this kind of a beam which is uh, a four point uh, bend, kind of bending where two loads are acting, two concentrated loads are acting at the uh, two different points of the beam. So hope you guys understand how to draw the shear force in bending moment diagram for the beam and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.